um 7 7 30 yesterday because it was pre-market for gamestop gme to the moon if you know what i mean i thought i was doing a good job but i guess do a better job i usually have a bang right about now i had no such thing i have a coke not the same thing i don't even like coke I know this probably isn't the energy you guys are looking for, but it's 2.30 in the morning. Let's go see if we have snow. Well, it's going to be kind of a no on the snow. We don't have much, but we got our load out. So, we got to move some cars around to get out of here, but... Basically, what we have today is a little bit of drifting. So let's go clear that. All right guys, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. We got a lot to do in this video. Um, as you saw in the screen, we're gonna find out if snowplow drivers do get in a bad mood. But first, before we even got our snow removal equipment, we got behind the city plows on the way there and saw this. Alright, so guys, if you guys do like these videos, if you guys like the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps out more than you guys know, and it helps the algorithm basically tell YouTube that you guys like what you're seeing from me. Our subscriber rate, um, it was at 7.9%, and now it's up to 8.4%. So we are still going upwards, guys. I'm happy to see that. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to get the equipment right now um, before we head out, and this is on the night lapse. And so that is why you can see everything better. The exposure is opened up. Um, but a specific command from GoPro is that you need to hold the camera still for the night lapse to work. And so as using that on the truck when you're moving, might not work out. You guys will probably see that. So right here guys, if you guys are sensitive to light, flashing lights, if you've had a history of seizures um, or epilepsy, I would not recommend watching the next part and maybe skipping forward about 20 seconds. Otherwise, go ahead and watch this. This is what happens on night laps um, when there's too much light. Alright guys, we're trying out the new time lapse, or the night lapse, excuse me, 2.0. And so we just finished up here at the townhomes, and we did the hobby shops right before it, and so I'm sure you guys saw both of those. We'll see how the footage turns out. It says to hold the camera still for the night lapse, uh, but we'll see what it looks like. So I don't know what I'm going to do next for the footage at the shopping center and the church, but I guess you'll see. Um, so let's go do that. All right guys, we just got to the shopping center and as always, it is freezing here. Uh, but let me throw you on the front of the plow and we'll see if we can't get some good angles from there. Let's go.
So as you guys can see, the video is very shaky and something I found out just recently is that the GoPro Hero 9, I'm not sure if it does it on other GoPros as well because of um, if they have the image stabilization software or not. But on the Hero 9, when it is cold out, the image stabilization does cut off and quit working. And so you can see the footage was very shaky after that. If you guys did see that video, um, I believe it was titled a one hour unique relaxing bird's eye view of another contractor plowing. That was when we were in Omaha for something else and it happened to snow 6.8 inches while we were there overnight. And so we were driving around town, we got some footage of that. That was also, that video that was put out already was at our hotel. I edited that on my iPhone 12 and just put that up for you guys to watch. Um, but I do have a compilation video of every piece of equipment you could possibly imagine running on a very, very snowy morning in Omaha. So that's gonna come out soon. And because of when we were in Omaha, we went to the Whole Foods Market and we got a cold pressed juice. Um, and this has, a, I mean, you guys can see that there, it's kind of bright. This is turmeric with hints of orange spices and it's supposed to be a health food shot that you're supposed to start your day off with. So we're going to open this up and try it out. I'm not expecting this to be very good. You guys can see it has a bunch of particles in it. So we're going to have to shake those off from the bottom before we even get to drink it. That's what it looks like now. It's mixed up a little bit better. Not looking forward to this one. <coughs> oh. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever had. Oh. It, oh. <coughs> the turmeric is so bad. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, let's see if you can still see I don't even want it. This is for you guys. I, <laughs> I took a sip. I haven't even really started on it, so. We're gonna drink some more. This is gonna be a little bit bigger of a drink, not the whole thing, a little bit bigger. <coughs> oh. I think that's all I can do. Oh. That's really bad. And I'm gonna wash it down this is a sparkling juice. I don't like sparkling juice. The only one I came across that I did like is Bubbler. <coughs> oh, turmeric is spicy. Oh. Anyways, this is Black Cherry Waterloo. Um, also at Whole Foods, it was 99 cents. This, for comparison, was almost three and a half dollars. So we're going with something a little bit cheaper for the main drink. Not expecting Both much because I don't like sparkling juice, but here we go with that. Level. I do actually have one, I just never seem to have it with me. No. That's probably gonna get dumped down the drain. Or given to my sister to drink the rest. It's just sparkling water. It's not it's not gonna make you gag. This is terrible. This is so bad. Look at all that stuff on the bottom. This is just normally normal, normal sparkling water. It's just not good.
Not that good. If I had to, I could drink it. Alright, I'm back now. My cat just freaked out and attacked my foot. Yeah, so I do have a 36 inch The Snowplow shovel. And I say The Snowplow because that's what the trademark name is. Um, I know some of you guys have said it would be a big time saver. I do have the 36. Like I said, I never seem to have it with me when I need it. But I have been thinking about upgrading and getting the 48 inch. Just for those smaller storms, it'd cover more of a sidewalk if we had to do that. But I don't know if it'd be too much, uh, too wide, that you wouldn't be able to push very much snow if it did get heavy. So if you guys do have a 48 inch, let me know what you guys think of those, if you guys like those or not. Um, I'll probably go off of what you guys say and your guys' recommendation in the comments for getting one for next season. If you guys do like these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Or also you can hit the icon that you see in the bottom right corner of your screen if you are watching on a mobile device or a laptop. If you are on a TV, you can also try holding down on the OK button and sometimes YouTube will bring up other options and then you can subscribe from there. What you guys are watching right now is the back of the plow. And so this is going up onto sidewalks that you can shovel off, but you also can get there with the truck and just back drag it a little bit. So with a little bit heavier of snow, it's quicker just to back drag it. But this is kind of a cool angle because you guys can see the pistons work to move the wings in and out, but also the snow buildup on the back of the plow. And this is with almost no snow and you can see that it's building up and going around those pistons. So on those snowfalls where we get six to eight inches of snow, I can't imagine how full it gets behind the plow because sometimes when the truck drives over it, afterwards when we go forward again, the bottom of the truck scrapes the top of the snow pile. So I'm sure the snow is just filling up the back of that plow when there's more than six inches. Hopefully you guys can see that fairly well. That was a back drag angle. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, and that is just another thing to mention quick, guys. I don't see any of these angles till they're back here in the editing stage of producing these videos. So if the angles are a little bit off, if they're maybe not set right the first time, I apologize. I don't know that until I get here to edit and then I can know for the next time I need to film something. And that snow doesn't stay there in front of the box. It's just getting put there temporarily so that it's not in front of the sidewalk so that people can still walk. Just like that. Just like that, it's pretty quick. Now the parking lot, the parking lot crew is out here. They're way down over there. I don't really know them, but. 
if I wasn't trying to eat over to the church in a hurry, I'd go say hi on camera, but uh, we're a little bit behind because I am recording. And that's a good segue into, if you guys do enjoy these videos, please make sure you are subscribing if you want to keep continuing to see these videos as they come out. Recording all the footage, of course, takes extra time. Producing the videos at the end takes extra time. So we always have to go out a little bit early and we still are a little bit behind sometimes. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and hit that bell notification so that you guys are notified every time a new video comes out and you guys keep up with what we're doing throughout the winter and the summertime when that comes. So. There's a parking lot crew over there. I got two wheel loaders running this morning. Uh, I gotta shovel this part again on the sidewalk, so I'm gonna put you back on the plow. And you can watch me finish up with that. If the parking lot crew is still back behind there by the time I get over there, I'll just record out the window so you guys can get a better look. Well, guys, this is two fluid ounces and I can feel the turmeric working in my stomach and on my lips. Both of them are warm. I don't like it very much. I absolutely despise the taste of this. I'm surprised they sell this without a warning. Like, tastes really bad. I'm sure it's healthy, because it... nobody else would drink this for any other reason. All right, guys, if my spiel about, uh, what did I say? Oh, taking extra time wasn't enough. How about the fact that I stand out here and talk to a camera alone by myself while bystanders give me all sorts of weird looks just for your entertainment. Yeah, gives me something to do, I guess. We gotta ice this. Ice it. It's the opposite of what we're trying to do. We're gonna put ice melt down. Except, it, this looks frozen. So the ice melt they left us is frozen. Sorry guys, it's freezing out here. The ice melt they left us is frozen and there's no cup in it. So let's go back all the way to the other side and grab that bucket. Oh. Hey, at least I get paid by the hour, right? <laughs> let's go. Oh boy. Here we are all the way on the other side. We grabbed the ice melt. It's in a cat litter box. It's not cat litter. But basically we're gonna walk down this entire sidewalk and spread ice melt. So I'll put you guys down as we go. Now there is, where are you guys? There you are. There is a huge ice uh, patch there. The roof actually leaks right there. And so it's probably two and a half inches thick of ice. And so that's why I put three scoops on. I'm not stupid. It just takes that much to get through. Alright guys, so the reason I am de-icing this right now is for two reasons. The first reason is that this sidewalk has cars to about here. They always park over the curb and this whole parking lot is packed every single day. 
I think it's a boutique, a nail salon, and an international grocery. And they are always busy. And so we can never come back during the day to de-ice. Here we can get over there by the big box stores with the truck on the sidewalk with how big, uh, long, or wide those sidewalks are. There we go. But because this is always full of cars, we're doing it now. And the other reason is that they supply the ice melt, whereas we supply our own liquid brine for the other place. And so we're gonna do it now because we have the ice melt and there are no cars here. All right guys, I supply us with styrofoam cups this year. As you can see, it's not working. I'm using my hand. I don't have time for this. Don't really want to get the heated gloves full of ice melt, but they are for work. They are for work and I, don't like breaking things in for the first time, um, but they are for work, and so I do have to remember that. Okay guys, today's verse of the day comes from John 5, 24. And this is Jesus talking. He says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. It's cold. This is heavy. It's almost empty. Day in the life of a snow removal worker, I guess. Here I am talking to myself while the dude in the wheel loader looks at me. Eh. It was it is is what whatever I'm too tired <laughs> for this Just gave up my energy at the beginning of this video in the morning Eh, it's pretty much still there I usually have a bang right about now I had no such thing I have a coke not the same thing. I don't even like coke oh, I saved the sparkling waters for the video review So we gotta go shovel the back. Let's go do that. All right guys, here we are in the back. I just had a worker come up and ask me if I can clear this sidewalk uh, because it wasn't done last time apparently. And there was ice blocking the door is what I was told. I thought I was doing a good job, but I guess do a better job. Day in the life of a snow removal worker. It's just that quick. As you can see, it's cleared. I don't think it's slippery. It's not icy. I'm not gonna de-ice it. You know how it is. If it looked like this when they came out, they wouldn't say thank you. If it looked like it did right before I shoveled it, they tell me to shovel it. Hey, it can be a thankless job, right guys? And that is a true statement, isn't it? If you wake up in the morning and your driveway's clear and the roads are clear and the parking lots are clear and stores are clear, you just think, hey, they're clear. Um, if you wake up in the morning and there's eight inches of snow and you can't get anywhere, you're thinking, where is everybody that's supposed to be clearing my driveway? Where's the city clearing the streets? And sometimes it's just unfortunate timing with the weather. Sometimes it's just so much snow that it just delays everything. Um, but that's how snow removal is. It can be a thankless job. You're out working when nobody else is even up usually. Um, so. That's how it is. So that statement does pass the fact check.
I guess I could mention too that none of the stores are open yet. It's no, no, the workers are even here yet. So. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You guys have seen me for a little while um, in these YouTube videos and both here in the editing stage and while I'm out working. You guys let me know if I'm in a little Maybe bit I'm of a mood. Maybe I'm just in a bad mood this morning. I know you guys will tell me the truth. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Do I seem angry? Hangry? I haven't had much to eat. Wrong shovel. Looks like the parking lot crew did get their wheel loader all the way in here, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if they've, I don't know if they've ever come back here in the two years that I've been doing this, but I can't really fit back here anyways because there's a truck here already. They do open early. They open at like 6:30, and that's the business owner, so he's always here early, but. I'm trying to find a pipe here to put you guys down on. All right, guys, you saw it earlier. I did a drink review on this Whole Foods Market cold pressed juice with turmeric. It is awful. I would never recommend anybody ever getting this. Um, even if you like painful drinks and wasting your money, I would not recommend getting it. Second, we had the Waterloo sparkling water. If you like sparkling water, maybe it's good. Black cherry flavor doesn't come out anywhere it doesn't taste like it it's just dry water i would personally skip sparkling water unless it is a bubbler then you can't go wrong with any flavor but i am getting off of not necessarily drinks but just getting off of sparkling juice and so that's where you guys come in i want you guys to comment down below what you want me to review whether that be a specific product um, if you guys have something specific, a certain name, a certain variation, certain flavor of something to review, drop that down below. Or whether you just want something like what ZZ Power said, where he just said beef jerky or something. Tried to say beef jerky, something like that. Um, Autocorrect, you know how it is. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'm not that I don't have ideas. I could I can think of something, but I want to do what you guys want to see. So I want to make the content that you guys want to watch. So leave that down in the comments below. For reference, I will say that I have been up since um, seven seven thirty yesterday because it was pre market for GameStop, GME to the moon, if you know what I mean. Um, and so I had to be up to watch that. I didn't have to be, I chose to be. And then, of course, I didn't sleep. And now it's 7.30 in the morning, the next morning. So that's 24 hours. And I think I had four hours of sleep the day before this. So we're going on like 48 hours and four hours of sleep. Maybe I am in a bad mood and I just don't know it. <laughs> But we got one more place, so that put me in a good mood. Let's go do that. Name this song. Go ahead and comment down below if you know why my doors are positioned like that. That's how you distinguish the snow flowers. <laughs> also, speaking of getting opinions from you guys, I wanted to thank two people in this video that have been watching the videos from the beginning and subscribed. Um, 
one of which is ZZ Power, who you guys saw. Thank you for watching. And the second is Bobcatman61, I believe is his screen name. Um, and he's from Valley City, North Dakota, so he's not far away from me. He is subscribed to me, he has his own channel. So you guys can go check that out under Bobcatman61 if you guys wanna go watch his videos as well. But thank you to those two for sticking around um, from the beginning. I appreciate it guys. I am going to be thanking more subscribers and more people that have been around for a while in other videos. And so if that is you, keep commenting down below. Keep telling me the keywords of the day at the end of the videos. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll be sure to get you guys in a future video. Here's a cool shot of inside the Jacobson with the broom attachment on. In this video, you can see that I don't lift it up and I just continue to drive forward and backwards. And that's because the broom that's on it is shifted to the side and the bristles are short which means that it doesn't clear snow as well as it should and the broom itself does get caught on sidewalk cracks which is kind of unfortunate um, i could put caster wheels on it which would help but with more snow like this since it's not a wide diameter or a wide radius on the broom wheel itself it doesn't have that much power to throw snow and it gets clogged easily. So I have to drive forward to make a pass, reverse, which also I leave down so that it makes a second pass, and then drive over it a third time forwards to get it clear. It's a long process, but it works that way. This is why I don't like plowing in the middle of the day, guys. As you can see, the blue car just pulled out of their spot. And it's not so much the fact that people can be driving around you and things like that, though you do have to watch out a lot more during the day. But for the simple fact that like this, now the blue car's gone, I've been wind rolling past them, but now I have to go do it again. Not a big deal with the small amount of snow in this video. With bigger storms, it makes it a lot longer process when you can't do your original method of pushing. And then you have to go back to clean it up anyways. So if preferred, or if possible, we prefer to plow in the nighttime before cars come out or late at night when people are just kind of laying low for the rest of the night. Here's another example of a car leaving this spot. So we're clearing this out and now going over the area that we just went over to clear because the other car came out. Now you can see why this adds a lot of time. All right, I 
said we had one more and we did to plow I completely forgot about spraying and so we have the shopping center sidewalks then we have the townhome association and then the hobby shop which is also like a condo association so we have three places to spray we'll probably spray about Eh, 275 or 200 um, 275 or 300 gallons on the dot so a bit of liquid de-icing to do yet we're gonna have to go home mix that up switch the boom sprayer on the back of the truck so we're not done yet and the day gets longer but that's what snow removal is let's go All right, I know you guys have seen it in other videos, but we got the liquid de-icer pumped in. That was supposed to be 175 gallons to 200 gallons on the dot, not 275 to 300. So we're gonna go take care of that on this cold, cold afternoon. Let's go. Alright guys, we're back at the shopping center. My dad is in the truck right now spraying the liquid de-icer. So I'm on door duty and filming for you guys so you guys can see what's going on. It does get a little tight with the plow on the front going down the sidewalks. driver made a pit stop can anyone relate to that everyday occurrence we're at Starbucks all right guys this is just a little bit later in the day people are definitely looking at me like I'm crazy talking to a camera by myself now in the middle of the day but this is the same sidewalk from earlier And as you can see, it's not overly packed with cars today, probably because it is negative 20 or negative 25 degree wind chill, and that's why I'm not staying outside. Let me turn off the music here. Talking to you guys because it is cold. I can't feel my hand after recording just that little bit. 
Um, but the ice melt did work out really well and it's looking pretty good. Almost all the ice is gone, except for where it's about two and a half inches. It's kind of there all winter long, constant struggle dealing with that. Cause even when it's negative 20 out, the sun is warm enough to melt the stuff on the roof and it leaks down onto the sidewalk. So we just have two more places to go spray and then we're done. It's been a long day, but we're almost done. Let's go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a sun dog outside. I'll try and get a better shot of it here again. Basically, a sun dog is when it's when you can see kind of like a half rainbow on each side of the sun itself. Um, it's not a rainbow, but it reflects off of the moisture in there like a rainbow does. So here we are spraying at the hobby shops and as you guys can tell from the setting sun another day has passed in this video so if you think that this 41 minute 43 minute video is long it was a long time in real life too I can guarantee you that I think it's kind of satisfying to watch those lines being laid down from the sprayer. Alright guys, I said I was going to tape um, when we clean up this back area when the truck is finally gone and people are gone for the night. So we're gonna set you up for a night lapse and you'll see us clearing all of this. Let's go. Alright guys, that's our video for today. Thank you if you guys are still here for watching this whole video from start to finish. I know it was a long one, um, but like I said just a couple minutes earlier, this was a long day. I was up at 7.30 in the morning, stayed up that whole day, that whole night, which at like 2 in the morning that night, so I had already been up for about 18 hours. Then we started plowing. Then I went through that entire morning, into the afternoon, into the next night. And so we are looking at 36 to 40 hours probably um, without sleep. And because of that, if you guys are still here so that I know who the true patrons of this channel are, go down below and comment what you the phrase you see right here, which is, who needs sleep? And why are we saying who needs sleep? Well, because I just told you, <laughs> we were staying up all night and I don't mean it. Sleeping is definitely recommended for working long hours like that to stay mentally sharp and avoid common mistakes and avoidable mistakes. But thank you guys for sticking around till the end of this video. I greatly appreciate it. Like I said earlier, let me know what you guys think in the comments about what you want to see more for some product review, not product reviews, but drink or food reviews, things like that. Also comment this phrase that you see down below. Subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long ways. It helps out my channel and it helps me out greatly. 
But that's all I have for today. So I'll see you guys in the next one.